the scoring. New direct look to Kievo. As Baran himself commented, took off a defensive midfielder, added another forward, and lo and behold, the whole team becomes a scoring machine. Still following Moran. That could be deceiving for the goalkeepers. They throw up a lot of different conditions the early part of the season here in Italy. Making hot early afternoon game here. Nadell, who's taken this position, raising eyebrows about the future of Ranocchia, but he did play there for Chile in the Coppa America, and Mancini obviously quite comfortable to field him defence with Miranda out that has been a long striker of Felix Paloski defence possession while Midgerini drops it gives Beers an option then they link up so well enough to uh, get this attacking free kick the first for the home side you yeah, mentioned Beers played a part in six of Kievo's goal referee here's Medel usually in the central defensive position which is taken by that man there Melo who arrived late on in the Summer transfer market from from Turkey, but both called up by uh, Brazilian coach Dunga, which brought Mancini's ire in the newspaper today. Yeah. Overly impressed with the uh, back and Birsa feeding it in. Nadel anticipated, but he caught his man. It's certainly a free kick. Mejorini down, and a decent position here for the home side. This is a Birsa territory mentioned already link up so well and Medell did arrive late Poloski wasn't too happy his first time in Italy in recent history with Juventus so Mancini took a liking to him when he was in Turkey there's Lovatic just coming forward shuns the shot for Melo not known for his brilliance 35 yards puts it out for the goal kick after an exciting the players were going through the Juventus to the Tardini Jovati Polotti went away from Italy he's come back he's seen two million to run into and fire to the net and Dogbia hasn't been quite as good so far it's a little better Melo have to play that ball first time to Guarin out of this group ethic that Mancini has been hamming, hammering into his players. Okay, so oh, yeah, Maran already mentioning the, the magic 40 point mark. The classic senders. Then the quicker we can re plan the season. It's all about, first of all, making sure that you. Mean Raise the ball forward. The tallest Medell, but uh, just get the header and then upfield, winning the free kick under any stress at all with the ball at his feet. Noted in the yellow shirts attacking the box. Header away by Melo. And a 1-1 draw. Okay. Two defeats against Cagliari in Roma. For Udinese in Roma. And the pressure was already mounting up. Castro. Oh, Mecciorini. That's, well, that's a foul and that's definitely a... Say that. There's plenty of muscle in the, the midfield for Inter, but the guile and the skill of Kievo is winning out. A little wide now, perhaps, a cross goal, and a crucial touch from Medel, corner kick to Kievo. And a better football, again, peeling off his marker. And that was a generous pass across the face of goal. Superb pass from Poloski, the top scorer so far. The home team, the way he goes about his tactics. Yeah, but last season that. it was a 4 3 3, but as the players actually. In. Shall we see through the legs. Late goals. Oh, good ball. And Icardi. Still Icardi. Maro Icardi gets his first of the season and gives Internazionale the lead. What a cool finish. But out of nothing have the advantage. Is it the making of champions? Scored a double in the last game of last season. And in half, this campaign without a goal. Condogbia's ball, it looked as if 
Gobby had done enough to take it away from the Inter captain. But he just gets it in front of Bizzari and then left footed, calmly strokes it into the empty net. Chievo nil into one. And Icardi off the mark for this season. Now the pressure's off and the goals could be. Icardi, a lot of talk about uh, him as a big article today in the uh, sports paper. Count here. The dying minutes of the first half. Murillo, Melo. Sam. First half taken short. Jovetic goes to Medel, turns it with balance. And Jovetic oh. and we've got to repeat it again. That goal came out of nothing. And never put oh, they've got another match in midweek. Curling ball, front post flicked on, rising up is Murillo, and then Melo. Full blooded tackle by Gambarini. Another corner kick to Inter. One time teammates of Fiorentina. No holding back. But it also there to Rigoni. Without really testing Andanovic until they're producing a fine save. There's a draw in total. There's Medel. What a 100% pass. Flag either. Poloski once more. Up against Medel. And the Chilean. Oh, the Chilean, unfortunately, flying with the defence. Melo intercepts, and Melo trying to pass out. And just keeping things calm, back to the keeper, restarting here with Medel. The block down, this could work out, Poloski runs round. And a recovery from Medel, still a corner kick for Kievo. Because the Indus tactics are keeping the ball in the back four. Works if you're not being hounded. Kievo are not giving Inter any time there. Great work by Poloski. To, to rest is Melo. It's away from Poloski to Medel. Again back to the keeper. All the way through on the right side. So back to Melo. In the technical area in the 60th minute. Big leap from Melo. During the season, as uh, particularly in this last few years, we've seen another whistle from the referee, Tagliavento. Lost the ball just a few moments ago. Santon. Pong headers midfield, Castro. Kivo complicating their life from the corner kick. Especially considering in the first half when they pumped the ball. Stabbing at the ball a few times. And the others the same. A headache. In the, uh, the mind of Mancini as Medel's shot flies over the bar, never looked like it was going to test Bizzari. Catch it well. Just to see how Inglesi is going down the line. It's a pointing delivery. And 15. It draws, but uh, really difficult to beat in the second half of last season. Second striker also ready to meet. Difficult for the end of defence. Yeah, just mentioned the right from Kanyari. Just shifted on, he's in. Poku pulls it. Well, trying to get it beyond Medel. She's doing the same. Dog Look for the man who's free. Not Felipe Melo. Oh, sitting deep. Oh, Melo. Has to be careful. Melo. Rash. No substitutions used by Milan. Kondogbia. Poku flat out on his back. Frenchman has not yet read the sportsmanship fence of what's happening. We have players in the middle. Protesting the big club is eight. You see here in the replay, Felipe Melo leading in with his elbow. Oh, it's a glancing blow. Nokia Melo to the way from Castro. Has to give it to a ball playing midfielder. League there. It's 
certainly can't say uh, to the market, transfer market, that he's not his own team now. But on boots, the visitors. Get it from Melo. There's a mic on look to him from the back. Poku. it away, Belgian, Pepe, we're going to see some late drama here in the 90th minute, and a corner kick off the head of Melo. One last big cheer from the Curva, Pizzari sends it high, Melo again, Palacio for that ball, on we go, less than two minutes, Melo got there first, no foul, he just gave him Poku, and that's goal of the season, gets the winner. Players sign for the Benzagotti from Mio and Nilsson. Nipol Visca 